With the yeast. So all of those bubbles are being produced by the peroxide. It's, they're full of oxygen. We're going to show that they're full of oxygen in a minute by using the old lit splint test. Okay. What does that smell like? Uh, it smells like slightly yeasty, soapy water at this point. Which is exactly what it should what smell is like. Soapy water smell like? Well, soap well, a lot like this does. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is after it's slowed down a little bit and the bubbles are a little bit larger, we're going to light some of them to show that there's actually oxygen inside the bubbles. Now, you said no this, fire was involved. I, I made a mistake. So if this was actually the carbon dioxide, if this was the carbon dioxide, then of course you wouldn't be able to catch it in the fire with the splint. But let's see what happens when we try to light these. Can we take the lights off there, John? Okay. Dip it into the bubbles at the top. Okay, you see what happens each time? They go away. It's burning. Why don't you just drop it in there? I will. And down here? Boof. That is so cool. It's awesome. Boof. <laughs> okay, one more. It's really light. Boof. It's really light. I'll drop it in And the then, okay, lights back on. So cool.